Hello, Brother Tom here. Just wanted to reach back out to uh, the larger Shamanad family um, and uh, try and stay connected. You know, when I started this video, uh, I guess three weeks ago, it's our third, um, it was I wanted to stay connected to our students and our families and our parents and the alumni. And um, what I'm feeding off of is your responses back uh, to me as well. So I appreciate that. And just uh, last week, uh, one of our grads, Kevin Shula, sent me a picture of him wearing the Chaminade uh, black vest that he had purchased um, after he saw that I had it on. So Kevin, I appreciate your support in the school store, which you can access through our website. Uh, I do think there's a sense of uh, connection when wearing our Chaminade colors. Uh, uh, I forgot to introduce Buster last time. I know some of you had emailed what's his name. Uh, he's a puggle. He's about nine and a half years old and basically just travels around the whole school with me. Um, so we completed our third week of distant learning and we continue to tweak it and improve it. Uh, I appreciate we all do the feedback from our students and from the parents. Um, you know, when we started this uh, three weeks ago, none of us thought it would be going this long. And uh, now that we know it is, uh, we continue to I really dig down and, and make sure this is a viable option. Um, I have to applaud our students, uh, the work you guys are doing uh, in your distant learning modules and your classwork and keeping up with the homework is really, really exceptional. Um, I have to really applaud the administration and the teachers who are doing just a, a huge task uh, keeping this up and running. And, and to the parents as well, I know you're juggling a lot at home uh, with your own family lives and your, your own children's work and, and your own work uh, as well. So um, I, again, I think the more we can stay connected through little ways like this, I think is really, really uh, helpful and uh, at least I find really supportive and uh, hearing from a number of you too that you guys as well find that supportive. Um, continue to uh, offer and give us your prayer intentions if you go to our web website. Uh, there's a link to submit prayer intentions and we pray for all those intentions every morning at uh, the Brothers Mass each morning. Uh, next week is Holy Week, so um, in particular we'll uh, be praying for you even more fervently and for all our first responders and our nurses and our doctors and for the, the broader Chaminade family. Uh, I'll reach out again to you uh, after Easter Sunday. Um, I do uh, want to say one other thing. Um, you know, the responses, again, that we've been getting uh, have really been, I have found, helpful uh, in terms of just struggling uh, these unknown and uncharted waters. Um, the uh, couple of the responses and the, the smaller connections we get to make now, either virtually or th uh, through random uh, emails, etc., have really, I think, been very helpful for everyone. Um, just last week, uh, I got a couple uh, of our graduates responded. Um, you know, I was saying there's no user manual for how we get through this. And uh, so, but what I do know works is this. These connections are really, really helpful, and I think we need to continue these. Uh, that we know works, and prayer works, and our faith supports us. Um, I got another uh, follower on uh, Peloton. My uh, username is Flyer Strong, and uh, one of my former students, Dama Terratano, started following me, so we had texted back and forth. and. Uh, that was a really con nice connection to make. Um, last week, uh, one of our grads, Vin Deramo, from the class of 97, uh, forwarded me a article from Sports Illustrated, and let me grab my glasses. And uh, he found a, a quote in this article that he thought was really helpful, and it said this. It's regarding running and, and you know, keeping up with running. And it says, right now, feeling like we have control over our lives, even in just small measures, is so important to ensuring that our society preserve, perseveres through this time with grace. The alternative is succumbing to mass panic and selfish behavior. This is where it becomes easy to give in to despair, to just disengage and stop trying at all. But that's the easy way out. It's safe to not try. It's easier to wrap yourself in cynicism than it is to expose yourself to the possibility of trying and failing. Panic is easy. Composure takes willpower. So, uh, Vin, I couldn't agree with that quote more. Again, Vin Duramo, class of 97, thanks for sending that over. Um, and then um, Dan Petruccio from our faculty got me uh, this banner to hang in the brother's house. Uh, together we will see it through. So, Dan, thank you for that. And really, that does capture uh, what we're all going through at this point. Um, and then last week, I was uh, out for a run um, upstate. I went up to our retreat house just for 
little change of scenery, and it's very secluded, 200 acres, so uh, it really was uh, socially distant. And I was out for a run, and uh, you know, when you pass runners, you sort of do that, you know, that jogger's wave and uh, sort of a nod. And I passed this guy and um, didn't even notice he had a shamanad hat on, and uh, he called my name out, and it turned out to be a Bobby Von Hagen from Class of 02. So, um, you know, just a random meeting, and you know, we chatted for a while, of course, uh, keeping our distance. And um, but again, I find those random meetings and these connections really, really helpful. So uh, keep up the great work you're all doing. Um, stay connected. I love hearing back from you. Um, and uh, God bless, and we will get through this together.